What you see here is a picture of a high tensile material tube mill uh, after a seven weeks a desperate tryout on the mill. And you see the wrinkles which uh, do not allow a proper welding. Uh, no, it doesn't, doesn't even allow an improper welding. <laughs> um, and you can imagine that the customer and, uh, and the managers got already pretty nervous having seven weeks such a line out of operation. And uh, in the simulation, after two days, preparing the model, this goes quickly and, uh, and, uh, and running a careful uh, simulation, um, you will see, if you look at the right picture, well, nothing new. We see exactly the same damages as we see in reality. That's right. This is no improvement and no, uh, no big, uh, well, big step forward. But the difference to the uh, left one is we are learning and understanding what's going on in the material uh, in the simulation. And this is the big difference. And after another few weeks of tryout virtually on the computer, let's uh, say, understanding what's going on in the machine, uh, what's going on in the material, changing the, the role tooling slightly, because uh, we don't want to raise too much costs, uh, we understood and we got the process under control, allowing us to optimize the whole process. And then, after having changed the tooling, and put into operation again, we get the final result without having an expensive tube mill or roll forming line uh, down, without having it out of operation. It's just a question of doing it offline on the computer by understanding what's going on. We are learning. And this is what we have been applying over the past years also in the, uh, in the terms of the three-dimensional roll forming. Once you understand something, you can design it a little optimized, a little better in, in the next step, uh, and you improve your, um, your know-how in the company uh, and go for, the, uh, uh, for, for better products or even better technology.